Does COVID vaccine really cause infertility? In today's video, I will be answering this question and giving a detailed explanation. If you are new to this channel, I am Dr. Amarachi Ijoma. I am a fertility physician and on my channel, I focus on all things women's health and fertility. So if you want more content like this, like, like, like this video and subscribe to my channel. No, COVID-19 vaccine does not cause infertility. So far, as I'm shooting this video this very day, there is no scientific evidence that actually links COVID-19 vaccine and infertility. Did I mention that I have had my COVID-19 vaccine? I don't know why this makes me very excited, but I am excited about it. Let's not deviate any further. The medical jargon that actually explains how the vaccine works is simple once the vaccine enters our body it sends a messenger to produce antibodies and these antibodies will now fight the covid 19 virus that is how it protects us from covid 19. this covid 19 virus has spike proteins and some people are concerned because there's also another protein in the body that helps to form the placenta and this protein also has spikes so they are a little bit concerned that Okay, what if this um, messenger does not know the difference between the COVID-19 virus and the protein, the placenta forming protein, all because they both have spikes. But I can assure you that as of today that I'm shooting this video, there is no scientific evidence that the vaccine actually affects fertility. So these are just speculations by, that don't have any scientific evidence. If you're trying to conceive and you're wondering whether to take the vaccine or not, I hope my video helps you make the right decision. As a bonus, I'm going to be talking about the side effects of COVID-19 vaccine. So sometime in April, first week of April, I and my friend went to get the COVID-19 vaccine. We got the AstraZeneca vaccine, our first shot. And before we went, I took paracetamol before I went there. My friend didn't take any drug. And then that night, I had um, heaviness of the arm, of the left arm. I had fever. I had body pains. I had headaches. I also had chills. And then it actually subsided within two days. However, the um, headache lasted a few days more. My friend did not have any symptom at all. She didn't take any drug before going. She didn't have any symptoms. Okay, oh, she had like the heaviness of the arm, which was really mild for her and went within 24 hours or I think 48 hours. I am not saying that there's any relationship between paracetamol and side effects. I'm just saying what I observed when I went to take my vaccine. This is just to say that not everybody actually has the side effects after they take the vaccine. So you would not know if you would actually react to the vaccine until you go and get your shots. I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you've learned something. And if you liked this video and you want more content like this, subscribe to my channel and like this video.